One of the easiest ways to improve your ball striking is to learn how to shift your pressure correctly. So in this video, you're gonna learn exactly how to do it from the address all the way to the backswing and down into impact so you can hit those golf shots better and shoot lower scores. Let's get stuck in. All right, that looked and sounded pretty pure, mate. We can see we've got a couple of boards down on the ground. Now I've seen one board in which we talk about the general overall uh, shifting of pressure throughout the swing, but these two individual boards are looking more so about your toe and heel exchange of pressure. So for the guys at home, who would this be beneficial for? And let's talk about really a drill sequence that they could use with these boards. So, you know, for me, the way you're loading in the backswing and then the way you're transitioning down and into impact is very important with where the pressure is in the feet. Yeah. This really exaggerates the feeling and helps you feel where we should be kind of loading in the backswing and where we should be transitioning down into the swing into impact. First of all, I'll just get people on it and just try and feel that heel toe movement. Because what we're looking for as well is the ability to have pressure in different sides of the feet okay. at once. I don't want both in the toe, I don't want both in the heel at any time. And a lot of the time you'll kind of see, especially early extenders or over the toppers, everyone's kind of in the toes, early extending again, coming over the top, hitting those big old slices. All we're, we're trying to do is get the feeling of that setup. We've got our right toe down and our left toe up. We then feel the shift or the movement start from the ground up. So you can see here now I've actually gone left toe down, right toe up, and I've really loaded into that heel. From here, we then get that horizontal movement first, which would be a little shift into that left side. That would be the start of our horizontal force. And then we start to shift the toe pressure, which then initiates kind of your torque force and then your vertical force into that full extent. So just set up again and do that slowly to the top. And I just want to make a few observations here for the guys at home. So as he's doing this, what shifting that pressure into the back heel is allowing him to do? You can see that the hips are a lot more open, chest is fully rotated about 90 degrees, and it provides him with the ability to get what's called depth or the handle far enough behind him. Matt, if you set up to that ball for me, and let's say I'm going to keep your back leg flexed here and you're not going to turn your hips and swing to the top, you'll see that his hips really haven't turned as much. You probably start to feel a little bit of pressure here on this lower back if he hasn't rotated uh, or tried to rotate his upper body a lot. And the end of the handle is certainly not going to be far enough behind him. And this would be the typical player who then transitions and gets too steep. So by from that setup position, allowing the back heel to then stamp down and create that pressure, he gets himself into a great position at the top. Now then transitioning into the downswing, as he feels that he gets this pressure underneath the lead toe here, this front foot, that allows his upper body to stay a little bit more closed off earlier than the player who would come too far over the top. That then allows him time to get his arms unloading underneath his chest. And then in the follow through, as he slams back down his heel, that is going to extend his lead side. And that combines all these really powerful forces that we can't see, but give you that beautiful dynamic flow with the best players in the world. So do a few more of those, just really focusing on the stamp there for me, mate. Perfect. Love that. And you can see Maddie's hitting all those positions that you'd see with your favorite player. The whole motion and flow looks really good. And it probably feels quite let's say, talked and powerful throughout there as well, doesn't it, mate? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've had people swing it faster on these boards than they do on the ground. Yeah. Just because that movement's really exaggerated and they're creating that correct movement as well. And that's just increasing all of those forces that you know, we see on the swing catalyst data. And we do see a lot of recreational golfers tend to obsess a lot about how they move the club and the arms. But really, if we move our pressure correctly throughout the swing and use training tools such as this. It just makes a huge difference to our ability to stay in sequence throughout the motion and deliver the golf club in an effective manner. So let's go ahead, hit one more down there for us, Matty. And we'll see how it comes out. Absolutely pure. Guys, definitely something to work on here. Getting that heel loaded a little bit more up in the backswing, then shifting down into the toe and then moving back into the heel, it'll get that golf swing working in a really effective manner.